Hi, welcome to Northern Whimsy Art Studio. My name is Andrea, and this is the grouting portion of the Mosaic Suncatcher. Um, so this one is the mountain one. In the first video, I showed you how to do the flower one. The mountain one will be very similar, um, except in the mountain one, you're going to have a design, and you can put the design behind it. And what I do is I just open up these little tabs right here, and I just stick the design behind it, and that helps you to follow the lines. If you choose not to use my design, that's great. Uh, make your own. I'd love to see love to see pictures of your creativity. So after I get all my glass pieces glued in, um, I need to let this dry. So in the first video, I said up to 48 hours. It's going to be closer to the 48 hours or more. You don't want to be able to see the glue behind your glass. It should dry clear. Um, you can see a little bit of haze here, but the glass is dark enough on those pieces that I'm going to go ahead and grout it. Um, but if you can see your glue through, if you grout it, you're going to continue to see that. So the longer you wait, the more the, the clearer it's going to get. So just keep that in mind. I also went ahead and covered my frame with my painter's tape. Painter's tape is not included in this kit. You'll need to provide that on your own. Um, and just cover, it's just going to cover your frame to keep it clean from the grout. The grout can discolor your paint just a little bit, so you do want to cover it. If you don't, you can use your paint and repaint it again afterwards. If you just happen to not have painter's tape, um, you can touch it up with some paint after you're done. Okay, so grouting, we'll get started with our grout here. So I have the cup of grout. This is a little more grout. I'm going to grout another project after this. So um, I have this cup of grout here a little bigger and I have the, my sponge. I'm going to move this over while I'm doing this. I'm going to try and keep my frame as clean as I can, especially the back of it. I don't want to have to do any extra cleanup to that than I have to. And I'm just using my sponge and my water to put a small amount of water into my grout. So really I'm going to use about a tablespoon right now to get started and I'm going to mix that. It gets wet very quickly so just keep in mind you don't want to add too much water. Really small amount at a time is the best way to go and you're going for the consistency of thick peanut butter and remember I have a little bigger cup than you so I'm going to be using a little bit more water than what you would be using If you get your grout too thin, let it sit for a little while. It will start to get a little bit thicker. And what'll end up happening is you'll just it'll just be harder to keep it in between your glass pieces if it's too if it's too thin. So ideally the thick peanut butter is the what you're going for. Make sure you get all that powder scraped up from the bottom and all the clumps mixed in. Oh, also not included in this kit is your rubber gloves. Um, and it's a good idea to wear that when you're grout, wear rubber gloves while you're grouting. Okay. I also have a little piece of a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be anything. I just use a little small piece so that I can throw it away when I'm done. All right, so I'll take some of my grout and I'll just set it right here. In this one, I am not grouting the entire piece. I'm going to leave this portion up here um, plain glass. So I'm not going to grout up there. I'm just grouting this bottom part down here. On the flower one, I will grout the entire piece. So I'm just wiping down into this glass that's on the lower side. And the tape allows me to work these edges without having to be super cautious of getting it on the edges. And I'm going all the way to the top of my glass and wiping it down in so that you can see that there's a little line of grout all the way around that top edge. And pushing it down into the cracks. And this glass is going to get messy and then I'll go have to go back in and just use my t-shirt to clean up that glass when I'm done. Trying to keep my tape down as I work here. All 
I'm gonna put a little more right here. Okay. Once I have it smeared in there, I'm going to clean up my edges the best I can. I'm going to wipe my excess grout back into my cup. Just make sure I've got all the big chunks cleaned up. And at this point, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes. What I'm going to do after this, after I let it dry, is I'm going to come in with that t-shirt and I'm going to start cleaning up all my pieces. Um, so I'll give it about 10 minutes to dry and then I'll just use that t-shirt to just start wiping that, that grout away and wiping it back off. I'm leaving my grout in between all of um, my glass pieces, I don't want to take the grout out from under those, or out from between those glass pieces, but I am going to use it to clean those tops. But it, once it starts to get a haze, it'll clean much easier. So I'm actually going to leave it for right now, and all this will clean up just fine too with the t-shirt. So um, give it about 10 minutes, and then you're going to wipe that all that grout away until it's nice and shiny and looks how you want it. And then after you get that finished, you can pull your tape off and um, you have your finished mosaic. Come back in in about 20 minutes after that and do one more time of wiping the haze off and you'll see that it starts to really shine up and, poli and polish up. Uh, thanks so much for purchasing your kit from Northern Whimsy Art Studio. I very much appreciate it. Um, and let me know if you have any feedback or questions for me. You can email me at northernwhimsyart at gmail.com or send me a message on Facebook Messenger. Thank you. Some notes for cleanup is you don't want to uh, dump your grout water down your drain. You want to um, let that settle out, dump the water off on top, and then just throw your container away if you can, or scrape it into the garbage and um, scrape that powdered grout down the garbage. Uh, but if you let it settle for a little while, that grout will go to the bottom. Um, grain, grout can clog your drains in your plumbing. Also throw away your, um, your cup that you mixed your grout in. You don't want to try and rinse that out in your sink also. Um, thanks so much. Have a good day.